Hey guys, welcome to a new video. In today's video, we're going to look at a lead code problem and the problem's name is string compression. So in this question, we're given a character array called cats and we need to compress it using the following algorithm. So we have to begin with the empty string S. For each group of consecutive repeating characters inside the input cats, if the length of that group is 1, we only have to append that. Like in this case, in the entire character array, A is repeating only once. You don't write A1, you only append A to it. Otherwise, we append the character following the group's length. Like here in this case, A appears twice, so it will become A2 in the compressed string. If it was appearing only once, we only append that character, like in this third example. And the compressed string S should not be returned separately, but we have to store it inside the input character cars itself. So we have to use the input character only and store the compressed string inside it. So you have to modify the input array in place. So after you are done modifying the input array, you have to return the length of the new array. That is the length of the compressed string. So this is the input array, which is having length 7. Compressed string has length 6. So you return 6 as the output. And we have to write an algorithm that uses only constant extra space. That is O of 1 space complexity. Now let's take a look at these examples and see how we can solve this question. So this is the input given to us. A is appearing twice, so it will become A2. B is appearing twice, so it will become B2. C is appearing thrice, so it will become C3. Finally, the length of this is 6, so we return 6 as the output. Coming to this case, the input character is A. So after you compress it, it still remains A, but not A1, because this is not compression, you are actually increasing the length. So if a character is repeating only once, you just append the character. Since that is the only character present inside the input, so A will be returned as the output. So after compression, it will have A and the length of this is 1. So you return 1 as the output. Now in this case, A appears once, so A it is. And B appears 12 times, so B. 12 should be appended as two separate characters. The length of this is 4, so 4 will be returned as the output. Now let's take a look at example 1 and see how we can get the logic. So I need a variable index which will be 0 and I'll use this index variable to access the index positions inside the input to form the output because we need to store the compressed string inside the input array itself. Now I need two variables start and end pointer. Start and end both will be pointing in the beginning. So this end pointer will go until the end and we iterate from the left to right of the input array. Now we check if the character at S and E are same. So S is equal to 0, E is equal to 0. Both are pointing at the same. So I move the end pointer forward. Now check if character at both S and E are same. Yes, both are same. So you move the end pointer again. Now we check if the character at S and B are same. A is not equal to B. Now we find the length between them. Length between them is 2 minus 0. You can find the count N minus start which is equal to 2 minus 0. So which is 2. Since this 2 is greater than 1 because we have to check this case where if uh, that character is repeating only once we only append that character but here it is repeating twice so we append that character and also the count so i'm going to use this index variable so index is pointing at zero so you append that character a first you so you append the character at start so a will be appended so this is an integer right we need to convert it into a string and then i convert it into a character array so that we can access it as a character, we access that character and append it at index. It will append that character there. So it will, this will become 2. And now before starting our next iteration, we move start to wherever end is there. So start also will become here. And now we also increment index. Index is 2. So next insertion will happen here. Now we check if character at start and end are same. Yes, they are same. So end will move forward. Check if both start and end characters are same. So move end forward. Check if character at end and start are same. No, they are not same. B is not equal to C. So you find the count. Count is end minus start. End is 4 and start is 2. 4 minus 2 which is 2 again. We convert it into a string and then we convert it into a character array because if like in this case if the count of that is 12 we convert 12 into a character array. So 1 comma 2 will be added like that into the character array. Now we insert at index the character at start. Character at start is B, so B will be inserted. And also increment index. Now we access this and insert it at index. Index is 3. So this will be replaced by 2. And in the next iteration again start will move wherever there is n. Now let's reset the pointers and also reset the index. 
next will become 4 and this is where the next insertion will happen now again check if character at start and end are same yes so move end forward check if character at end and start are same yes so move end forward check if character at end and start are same yes so move end forward and now we end the iteration because we reach the end of the character array now we find the difference to find the count start is 4 end is 6 again n minus start is equal to 6 minus 4 again you get 2 so this is an integer converted into a string and then convert it into a character array to access each character of that digit so in insert character at start at index index is 4 so c will be inserted here now move index forward now we need to insert this at index index is 5 so this will be replaced with the count count is 2 start will be reset back to where end is in both reach the end we also increment index index is 6 so this was where the next insertion will happen but we reach the end of the iteration so whatever is present inside the variable index so index is now here which is equal to 6 so this is the length of the compressed string so we inserted 6 characters into the character array in place. So this is the expected output 6. Now let's implement these steps in a Java program. So this is the function given to us and this is the input character array. And the return type is an integer. Let's start off by creating the index variable which is initially 0 because we have to use this variable index to insert into the input character array because that we need to store the compressed string inside the character array itself. So this will be our output 2. So finally we'll return index 2 which will be used to denote how many characters we have inserted into the character array which will also be the length of the compressed string. Now we declare the start variable. Start is initially 0 and this start variable will iterate until the end of the character array. Now we need to declare the second pointer end which will start each iteration from wherever start is. So int end equal to start. Initially both start and end start with the zeroth index that is the first character. Now we need to check if the character at start and character at end are same. So until then we keep incrementing end. While cars of start is equal to cars of end. So whenever this is happening we keep incrementing the end pointer. And this while loop will terminate whenever there is a mismatch between characters. Like here in this case, these two characters are not same. So when these two characters are not same, this will break. And now again we have to check one more condition is that if end is always less than the length of the cars array because end might reach the end and start might be at the beginning. So this boundary check is important to do. Now as soon as there is a mismatch here, we need to find the count of these two characters which can be found out by end minus start. Now we need to insert the character at this index position with the character at start. So cars of index is equal to cars at start. And each time you insert it into the character array, you also need to increment it for the next iteration. Now we inserted the character which is at start. Now we need to check if this count is greater than or equal to 2. Only then we have to append that count also to the compressed string inside the cars array. So if count is greater than or equal to 2 then we need to convert this count into a string and then into a character array. So I declare a character array called frequency and convert this count which was initially integer into a string. So after converting this string into an integer we need to convert this into a character array using the two car array method. Now we have the count inside this frequency character array. Now we have to iterate through the characters inside this character array and append it using this index position into the cars array. So I use a for each loop where I access each character inside the free array and then again insert it into the character array using index with ch and each time we increment the index position to move it to the next index position where the next character should be inserted or the next uh, character at the cards of start should be inserted and finally before moving to the next iteration we have to reset back uh, start will come to where end is starting so start is equal to end and finally outside the while loop we return the variable index which will give you the length of the character array so let's run the code 
the test case are being accepted let's submit the code and the solution has been accepted so the time complexity of this approach is o of n where n is the length of the character array and the space complexity is o of 1 because we are not using any extra space to solve this question that's it guys thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video